In the shadow of SpaceX's soaring success, there's a fascinating story of innovation that took a radically different path. Picture a massive structure shaped like a spiral shell, spinning silently in the New Mexico desert. This is Spin Launch, a company that dared to reimagine space launches without the thunderous roar of rockets. Founded in 2014, Spin Launch proposed something that sounds like science fiction, hurling satellites into space using pure kinetic energy. No massive fuel tanks, no burning propellants, just the raw power of centrifugal force achieved through an enormous accelerator that spins payloads at mind-bending speeds before releasing them skyward. The concept captured imaginations and raised eyebrows across the aerospace industry, a launch system that could potentially slash costs to just $500,000 per mission, a fraction of traditional rocket launches. But as with all bold ventures in space technology, the gap between theory and reality proved to be wider than expected. Today, we're diving deep into Spin Launch's journey, from its groundbreaking vision to the formidable challenges it faces. What happened to this ambitious project? Has it found its place in the evolving landscape of space launch technology? And most importantly, what does its story tell us about the future of space access? Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The heart of Spin Launch's story begins in a dusty workshop in California, where a small team of engineers dared to challenge decades of rocket science orthodoxy. Their vision wasn't just about building a better launch system, it was about completely reimagining how we reach the stars. At the center of their revolution stands what looks like a mechanical marvel from a sci-fi novel, the Orbital Accelerator, a structure so ambitious it made even veteran aerospace engineers pause. Picture this, a massive vacuum chamber larger than a football field, housing a carbon fiber tether strong enough to withstand forces that would tear steel apart. This isn't just any tether, it's a masterpiece of material science developed through countless failures and breakthroughs. Early prototypes would snap within seconds, sending fragments flying at supersonic speeds. But with each failure, the team learned, adapted, and grew stronger. The breakthrough came during a freezing night in New Mexico. After months of setbacks, the team achieved their first successful spin-up to full speed. The entire structure hummed with barely contained power, as the tether, now reinforced with an innovative carbon matrix, held steady. Inside the control room, years of doubts and skepticism gave way to cautious celebration. They had proven the impossible was merely improbable, but nature had other plans. The first actual launch attempt revealed a challenge no computer simulation had predicted. As their test payload broke through the vacuum seal, it created a sonic boom so powerful it rattled windows miles away. Local residents, initially supportive of the project, began raising concerns. The team had to quickly pivot, developing a revolutionary multi-stage membrane system that would silently peel away instead of bursting. Their persistence paid off. Since 2021, Spin Launch has conducted 10 successful launches, each pushing boundaries further than the last. The numbers tell part of the story. 1,600 kilometers per hour, 10 kilometers altitude but they don't capture the white-knuckle tension of each launch, the breathless moments as payloads pierce the sky, or the jubilation when tracking systems confirm a successful flight path. Yet these achievements, while impressive, cast a stark light on the challenges ahead. Orbital velocity demands speeds of 25,000 kilometers per hour, more than 15 times their current record. The physics are unforgiving, at such velocities, air resistance transforms into a wall of plasma hot enough to melt steel. Traditional spacecraft use complex heat shields to survive re-entry. Spin launches payloads must endure similar conditions on the way up. The economics of the system tell another compelling story. While SpaceX has revolutionized the industry with $69 million launches, Spin Launch aims for a target that seems almost impossible, $500,000 per mission. This isn't just about cost savings, it's about democratizing space access. A university could launch a research satellite for the price of a luxury car. Developing nations could establish their own space programs without breaking the bank. But the path forward has been anything but straight. 
The team's search for a permanent launch site reads like an adventure novel. Their first choice, Hawaii, offered perfect conditions. Steady trade winds, proximity to the equator, and excellent ocean access. Local opposition emerged not just from environmental groups, but from cultural practitioners concerned about sacred lands. The company's attempts to address these concerns led to innovative design changes, including a first-of-its-kind cultural impact assessment protocol. The pivot to Alaska brought its own dramatic challenges. Winter temperatures cold enough to snap steel. Winds that could knock a person off their feet. The team developed new materials that could withstand thermal cycling from negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to the heat of launch in seconds. They created a revolutionary de-icing system that would later attract attention from commercial aviation companies. The contrast with traditional rockets becomes more fascinating when we dig deeper. While SpaceX celebrates its 100 plus launches per year, Spin Launch quietly achieves something remarkable. Their system can reset for another launch in hours, not weeks. The simplicity of their approach, no fuel, no complex engines, minimal refurbishment, hints at a future where space launches could become as routine as airline flights. Environmental benefits add another layer to the story. Traditional rockets dump thousands of tons of carbon dioxide into the upper atmosphere. Spin Launch's system runs on electricity, which could be sourced entirely from renewables. The company's internal studies suggest that transitioning just 10% of small satellite launches to their system could reduce aerospace emissions by the equivalent of a small city. Perhaps the most unexpected chapter in Spin Launch's story came from an entirely different direction. Their work on high-strength materials caught the attention of several major aerospace manufacturers. The carbon fiber composites developed for their tether proved ideal for next-generation aircraft components. This spawned a separate research division, turning a technical necessity into a new revenue stream. The technology's potential applications beyond Earth open up even more intriguing possibilities. On the moon where there's no atmosphere to create drag, a modified spin launch system could hurl supplies between bases at a fraction of the cost of rockets. Mars presents similar opportunities. The thin atmosphere would allow for even more efficient launches than on Earth. These possibilities have attracted serious attention from space agencies planning long-term off-world bases. Recent developments in the commercial space race have only heightened the stakes. As companies like Starlink and Amazon's Project Kuiper plan to launch thousands of satellites, the need for affordable, rapid launch options becomes more urgent. Spin Launch's technology, even if initially limited to specific payload types, could become a crucial part of this new space economy. The team now faces their greatest challenge yet, scaling up to the 100-meter orbital system. This isn't just a matter of making everything bigger. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's physically possible. The forces involved are so extreme that they've had to develop new mathematical models just to understand them. Traditional engineering software couldn't handle the calculations. Their latest tests have shown both promise and peril. A new payload design survived accelerations that would crush most satellites, only to encounter unexpected aerodynamic effects at high altitude. Each launch provides valuable data, but also reveals new challenges. The team's determination remains unshaken. They've come too far to turn back now. This journey has sparked intense debates within the aerospace community. Critics argue that the technical challenges are insurmountable. Supporters point to the history of aviation, where similar skepticism greeted every major breakthrough. Meanwhile, Spin Launch continues their methodical progress letting their results speak louder than words. As we look ahead, Spin Launch's journey represents more than just another space startup story. While traditional rockets continue to dominate space access, Spin Launch reminds us that innovation often comes from unexpected directions. Their struggles and breakthroughs show us that the path to revolutionizing space travel isn't always about bigger rockets or more powerful engines. Sometimes it's about daring to question our fundamental assumptions. The next few years will be crucial for Spin Launch. As they work to scale up their technology, their success could open new possibilities, not just for Earth launches, but for establishing sustainable infrastructure on the Moon and Mars. Their story proves that in the space industry, the boldest ideas often face the greatest challenges, but may also offer the most revolutionary solutions. 
Only time will tell if Spin Launch's kinetic launch system will take its place alongside conventional rockets in humanity's space exploration toolkit. But one thing is certain, their innovative approach has already pushed the boundaries of what we thought possible in aerospace engineering. What do you think about Spin Launch's unique approach to reaching space? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into space innovation, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for more fascinating stories about the future of space exploration. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars. This video aims to inform, inspire, and engage our viewers about innovative approaches to space exploration. We present factual content for educational and entertainment purposes and encourage respectful discussion in our community. We do not make any unsupported claims or promises about the technology discussed. the cosmos. Unlike the small portholes of the ISS, this expansive viewing area will offer astronauts and future visitors an unparalleled connection to space. Imagine conducting research while Earth floats majestically below, or sharing a meal with fellow crew members while watching auroras dance across our planet's atmosphere. The station's design isn't just about aesthetics, it's about maximizing scientific potential. By 2032, Haven 2 will evolve into a cross-shaped structure, with a 7-meter central core module launched aboard SpaceX's Starship. This innovative layout allows for four additional Haven 2 modules, creating a research complex that surpasses the ISS in both size and capability. But what truly sets Haven 2 apart is its integration with modern technology. The station will be equipped with SpaceX's Starlink system, ensuring constant high-speed communication with Earth. This means real-time collaboration between orbital and ground-based teams, seamless data transfer for critical experiments, and even the ability for astronauts to stay connected with loved ones back home. The construction timeline is ambitious, but achievable. Between 2028 and 2032, VAST will systematically launch and connect modules, creating a growing orbital complex. Each module builds upon the lessons learned from its predecessors, incorporating improvements in life support systems, power distribution, and environmental controls. This iterative approach ensures that Haven 2 remains at the cutting edge of space technology throughout its operational life. For scientific research, Haven 2 offers unprecedented opportunities. The station's laboratory sections are designed with flexibility in mind, capable of supporting everything from fundamental physics experiments to pharmaceutical research in microgravity. External payload racks, inspired by the ISS's successful Kibo module, will allow for